Hello once again, and I'm going to have a talk about um, Windows 10. Right. Why is Microsoft pushing so hard for everybody that's not currently running Windows 10 at the moment? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Why is there a force of an upgrade? You know, I've tried to block that um, KB file that update to Windows 10 now two or three times on this occasion and it keeps coming back sometimes it, it, I'm running Windows 7 on my main computer now well I've been since 2009 in fact um, been running Windows 7 on my main computers um, okay my laptops running Windows 10 but, <coughs> but everything I do is on this computer and the reason why I have not upgraded to Windows 10 is because some of my software does not work with Windows 10 um, so I'm currently sticking with Windows 7 Windows 8 8.1 I hated I didn't want to go to that I couldn't stand it I couldn't get on with it um, so I'm sticking to Windows 7 but the, the reason why is Microsoft now all of a sudden starting to push us to upgrade to Windows 10 or in my case it will be downgrading to Windows 10 because to be honest with you I don't think Windows 10 is, is as good as Windows 7 um, I honestly think they've gone a step backwards with it the um, reason why I'm running Windows 10 on my uh, laptop because you know eventually <coughs> we will uh, we'll have to upgrade but not yet because Windows 7 what came out in 2009 so Windows 7 is getting pretty old but I will upgrade it until I know I'm totally satisfied with Windows 10 I'm not satisfied with it at the moment um, but I've got three, there's, must, there's three reasons out there that I'm a bit sceptic of Windows 10 as I say one is why is Microsoft pushing so hard for us to upgrade you know I know as, as I said before it's three times that upgrade has slipped through the net because I've got my settings on let me um, I'll, uh, it'll, I'll tell it to update not it auto update I've turned that off I've never used auto update in my life I don't like that um, second one which I thought was weird um, <coughs> I mean Microsoft's never known to give anything away why is Windows 10 free? that's something I want to know why is Windows 10 free? it's not like I'm complaining about it but why weren't Windows 8 free? why weren't Windows 7 free? Um, everyone says oh because they made a balls up with Windows 8 I don't believe that there's people out there that liked Windows 8 um, or 8.1 I, I was one that couldn't stand Windows 8 or 8.1 to be honest with you once I got rid of that start button it was crap because I use that start button quite a lot that's why they brought it back on Windows 10 um, <coughs> but why is that why was it free um, I don't know and then it comes to the most one that I'm very suspicious of um, why did um, in Windows 10 that you don't have the options to have to turn off that automatic update there's only two options one is automatic update and notification I don't know but basically it still installs it automatically without if you uh, you knowing it just does it um, why all of a sudden can't you do that no more why can't you have that option to um, notify me about updates what I want to install no no, you can't do that no more with Windows 10. Don't know about Windows 8. I'm presuming that was a similar to re, similar thing to Windows 7 and beyond. And below that, um, you had the option to install the updates. But Windows 10, no. Why is that? Why are these three reasons? Like right? being free, they're pushing us to install it, and the updates are taken away. Are, is uh, Microsoft in um, I've had a word with the government you know are they spying on us because I'm hearing about Windows 10 and all this spying business 
are they wanting to push us all onto Windows 10 so they can spy on us, see what we're doing, our activities on the computers? That could be a reason. Think about it. You know, it's free. Microsoft is not known for giving um, operating systems or major software away. That's one thing. Auto updates now been turned off. Well, you, well, not turned off. You have to do it. You have to have automatic updates. You ain't got no choice unless you ain't plugged into the internet, of course. And they're pushing to update us. What Windows Seven, Eight? They're pushing, pushing to update us. Something's going on. Don't you feel something a little bit suspicious there? Um, the government might want to spy on us for those three reasons why everyone why they're pushing us so hard to get onto Windows at 10 think about it I'm staying with Windows 7 at the moment until I'm satisfied um, at the moment I'm not satisfied um, Windows 10 doesn't offer anything to me at the moment as I say, a lot of my software I use don't run well with Windows um, 10. I have I've got a 4K monitor. Sometimes I can't get the settings right with Windows 10. Windows 7, perfect. It goes up to the resolution I ask it to. Windows 10, I tell it to go to a resolution it doesn't want to know. Um, so I don't know if anybody else has got a 4K monitor out there and having issues. But I've had issues with 4K monitors, with my 4K monitor, I'm not going to the setting I choose. I don't use the highest setting on my 4K monitor because everything is way too small. But I've got it on the setting just below that and, I edit and I'm totally satisfied with that, it's the way I want it. With Windows 10 I can't get it to do that and, and everything looks too small when I run. Uh, programs it runs it either too small or the fucking thing crashes um, so Windows 10 I'm not satisfied at the moment to run on my main computer I run it on my laptop because I basically use simple tasks on my laptop and I say I want to get used to it but I don't save files on it I don't do any real activity on my laptop but it's just there, I just use sometimes if I'm doing something, middle of something on this computer, but don't want to disturb it, I'll just quickly use my laptop, ignore that. Um, yeah, so what do you think? You know, do you think something's really suspicious? Because I damn do. I really think, hang on, three things here. It's free. Microsoft? Come on. Have you known Microsoft to give things away like this? No. I think it's only for a year though, but still. Why would Microsoft develop something huge, you know, as an operating system, and oh, we'll give it away. If you're running an older Windows, why, I honestly can't understand, why not Vista? Why couldn't they give it to people that's got Vista? Capable, well, probably because it's too old, and that's gonna be probably compatibility issues maybe that could be the case but giving it away okay then you got then you've realized why they're pushing so hard for it because so, I mean three times I've had to turn that bloody update off or hide that update I don't I have no intention to go to Windows 10 unless I do a clean install on it um, and um, the update thing it's got to be auto. It's bollocks, really. Why couldn't they just say notify me about the updates? That's easy to put in, isn't it? No. And people say, oh yeah, but Windows 10 is better for gaming. How is it better for gaming? And why ain't DirectX 12 available for Windows 7 or 8? Well, I don't know about 8, but only exclusive to Windows 10. That's something else that I just don't get. That is bullshit. It could work on Windows 7 if they wanted it to, but no, they oh, I know, we'll just make it work on Windows Windows 10. Fucking bullshit with DirectX 12. Yeah, of course they can make it work on Windows 7. 
they just don't want it. They want you to upgrade. I'll tell you what, you can run Windows you can run DirectX 12 on Windows 10 if you want. No, but we can't let you do it on Windows 7. So fuck you, Microsoft. Um yeah, that's basically all I'm gonna say. Think think about it. Um and think why they want you to upgrade to Windows 10. I think I found the reason because they want the governments to spy on what we're doing on our computers. Think. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.